Got our second uh, second set of merch. It's going to be fucking lit, honestly. Um, this one is a singlet. So I've already got a shirt. So this should be going underneath this shirt. But the other thing is, I've got another set of merch coming, but I don't know when that's coming. But let's remove this, because obviously we are not going to be bringing back this packaging, because it's staying with me. <coughs> no. Let's get ready. Oh, it's uh, it's not the same quality as this. Um, not the same uh, texture, so this should be interesting. Oh yeah, have I also forgotten to tell you, it is grey. Right off the press, that's fucking beautiful, let's have a look. Wow. Um, this, I think, is also a 2XL, but difference between this and this is this is actually small light so apparently a slim fit apparently that's what i've been told so let's have a look it's <laughs> gonna be sick <laughs> oh yeah it's a lot cleaner than this one this is also a oh yeah it's a lot look it looks a lot better this is a different design too so it is a 2xl but <laughs> Let's have a look. So, the front. Again, it is a singlet, so it's not really going to show off the, tape, the tapered back. But, oh yeah. That was fucking nice. Holy shit. Yeah? And now, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, the back design. Oh shit, that looks so much, that looks so much better than the one I'm wearing, oh my god, oh my god that looks so nice, holy fuck that looks so nice, oh my lord, that is fucking beautiful, I really fucking dig this, this grey with everything, and I love, I love this white on the end, it's fucking beautiful. It really pops on the grey. Holy shit, does it pop on the grey. So, uh, let's, uh, stick this bad boy on and let's see what the fuck it looks like. This is an extra large, a 2XL, but for some reason the sizing is different from that. So it's a little bit smaller, but for a cut, shouldn't really matter. This should be perfect, actually. It's nice and, uh, stretchy too, which is, uh, actually perfect, so I guess... The little decrease in size isn't actually that bad because again it stretches so it's a hook. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can definitely feel that chest. Hey. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, Craig is gonna love the fuck out of this, so I'm actually gonna package it back up. In a showcase of Craig when he comes. Originally, they were supposed to be a support worker coming, but uh, they are not today. Let me go and uh, go to the mirror and have a look. Means uh, I can't see the back. I reckon it looks pretty fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like a. That was fucking great. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, the only thing that I have to compliment about. This is just my own uh, wrongdoing. Is a uh, this is too low. I'd prefer it like up, up the top of the back. But apart from that, who <laughs> really knows? It's uh the good thing about it. It is so snug. It is so fit, thick on me. Like it, it wraps around me so well. And it actually, <laughs> it looks like I don't even have a stomach. Oh, for the fuck out of this. Holy shit. I didn't actually think I'd like this so much. But the sad thing is this, uh, this particular shirt is a, uh, is a discontinued shirt. So it just, it makes my chest look so much bigger. It's like big and then skinny. Oh my God. This looks fucking amazing. Again, the 
only downside is that this is low. I would have had it like up here, a bit higher. But other than that, that is uh, that's fucking beautiful. Let's go get Mum's personalised opinion. Let's go. Oh, you got it on under there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The big reveal. <laughs> Oh, big grey one. Yeah, big grey one. Breaking news: the domestic terror threat level has been increased. The prime minister and ABF chiefs are about to give details on taking their lives. Oh yeah. Also today, Australia's campaign in the uh -huh. I think it's vinyl because it's uh, the scratchy material. Oh yeah. But the very yeah. stretchy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Different design. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better. The like thing that. is, it's a, it's a bit tight around the uh, this area, but yeah. Right. The only thing I I don't like is the fact that the design here is too low down. I wanted it a bit higher. What at the back? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Tazer needed to be up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, you're coming up, aren't you, Phil? What are you doing, Kat? Hey. Good boy. He is a good boy, aren't you? Hey. Yeah, I was going to bring Scamp, but... You're a good hey. it's, a, it's actually a nice design. I do like it. So I've got another one coming that's kind of similar, but... What are you doing, Kat? What are you doing, cat? No. Yeah. Cat is very much enjoying himself, aren't you? Yeah. Hey. Felix. What are you doing? Good boy, Phil, aren't you? What are you doing, cat? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, he's attacking the cables. Welcome, all your faces, to day 18 of the cut. Today, we are dropping. Uh, like I said at the start, we're dropping a chest and we are dropping triceps. Um, I think chest might be a bit more of the predominant. I'm unsure currently. Right now, my, uh, well, my mic is not connected for some stupid unknown reason. I don't understand why it is not because it's saying it is, but it uh, apparently isn't. So that's a bit weird. But. Uh, I originally didn't want to do today, which is uh, the reason why this is a fairly late day um, going to the gym, but uh, I'm not wearing my pump cover, for, at least for the moment, because I want to give this shirt a run, see what it's like, nice singlet, um, again, it's my new merch, so it would be pretty sick to see, but uh, at least for tonight, I definitely want to have a... Uh, a nice solid post workout because uh this is gonna be a good workout i can guarantee you on that um however um i think that egg whites are definitely going to come in handy at least uh at least for tonight so uh yeah triceps chest gonna be beautiful um most likely will start off with triceps or chest i'm unsure uh but i guess can't really make that decision because it's a bit biased because I don't know what we're looking at when we get in there. So uh, we'll have a look at who's using what machine. Again, Planet Fitness. So chest, mainly not going to be much except, uh, well, Smith because Benchy is not a option at Planet Fitness. That's a bit poo, but it is what it is. So uh, while I'm... Uh, while I'm trying to figure out all of that, I'll see if I can get the mic fixed and working. But uh, overall, we should be bloody good. Should be a, a decent and all right day. And uh, then uh, we'll figure out what we're doing afterwards. So without further ado, let's just drop the video. So um, got to adjust the gain on my uh, mic. But overall, we should be fine. But... <sighs> We are going to start not as extreme as what we did on day eight or day nine when we dropped like a hundred and something fucking kilos, but we are still in uh, 
well, rid our ter territory for a uh, good, solid reason. The main reason is uh, simply because it gives us a bigger stretch, and that's what we're all about. So uh, I think we're on a solid 63, and I want to do this for quite a little bit less time than what we did last time. Actually, a lot more, sorry. Um, I want to do this over a longer period of time without increasing the weight because again i've already busted out strength like a shit ton on all of my content but currently i'm uh i'm just wanting to have a nice chillax day just enjoy my weight and uh see see if that changes the pace or changes anything up and maybe it might give me a bit more gains than just busting out heavy weight and leaving the gym in like an hour so let's take our time enjoy ourselves, focus on squeezes, all the usual stuff, and let's see if it makes any sort of improvement. Okay, I'm going to keep that weight for just a tiny bit, not too, uh, not too much, but I think let's go back to standard territory and then rinse and repeat. It's a slight, oh yeah, that's fucked. Oh. Let's take a slight break and try again. So, uh, one of the things that I've noticed, at least when it comes to this bad boy, now, there's a reason why a lot of the time I run in uh, rear delt territory, but the one problem with rear delt territory is uh, the weight is a certain weight, like above to the point where it hurts. Uh, I can't use basically rear territory because, uh, well, I'm going to injure myself something chronic. So I think smartly, when it goes anything more than about 50, I think I can't do rear delt territory meaning I can't do that big deep stretch, so I'll probably end a lot of my sets, or a lot of this type of workout, with finishing off with that deep stretch on low weight, because it just allows me to, to do basically deep stretch, deep stretch uh, squeezes, and I think that's ultimately a good idea, after obviously burning myself out with heavy weight, so. <clears throat> but that's my... Uh, that's my idea. <laughs> that final one was blood great, so uh let's slightly increase the weight and get our rid out territory. Put in normal and uh, bump up a bit, tiny bit more weight, and then focus on that weight a little bit. I think I'm just gonna finalize on a lot of stretches, some stretch squeezes, light weight, rear delt territory as usual. But uh, focus on that deep stretch at the start, and uh. Do this for a couple, and then after that, we'll figure out what we're doing. Oh shit, there is a, uh, well, a lot of blood in that shit, so I think I'm going to give it about two or three minute break just to let it all settle down and then go for one last squeeze. You think there's a possibility we are dropping uh, 
Well, possibly a, uh, I'm hoping some sort of uh, bench. Well, probably won't happen, but <laughs> I'm hoping that after that bench is finished, we will, uh, very, very small chance of me getting cables, but uh, what I have is, uh, again, as I've already spoke about this, what I do have currently is a Planet Fitness membership, which is probably going to get replaced by some other gym, but this current stage, it's what we have. Um, now, I'm unsure if I want to utilize lower bench, because again, lower pec, not really smart to do it on a Smith machine. I mean, you could increase the weight to f and 100 and you still wouldn't probably feel anything. And that's usually where a benched Smith comes in handy. I don't think, I don't think, uh, sorry, not a bench Smith, but like a lower chest press is probably a lot more beneficial than a, well, lower Smith. But it's just my personalized opinion. So let's, uh, let's focus on getting those uh, squeezes and uh, we should be good. I think now, definitely pre exhausted, so I need more weight. A lot more. Let's get it back to six point, uh, 63 because I was actually, it seems to me it's my base and it's also my go back to, my revert. So. <clears throat> I think it's just me, but uh, my chest is definitely getting redder. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go pray to the gods that we can get a Smith machine. Relatively, should be about there. I think that is uh to the jaw, so I need to move back a bit. And if that is a shoulder injury. Slight, tiny bit more back, and we should be in good range right there. Yep. We should be perfect. Probably not going to end up dropping too heavy. Because again, A, I don't have any friends. So, uh, I don't have anyone that can help me prevent this from falling on the floor, or at least breaking my neck. And two, it is a Smith machine, and I'd look like an idiot if I stopped it here. So, but there's a lot of preventative measures on this thing, which is uh, probably the only bloody good thing for it. But I think I'm in correct posture. I think one way to find out, and that's by dropping our weight and figuring out if I fucked it or not. So, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I think personally, tiny, tiny bit back, and uh, let's put a uh, fiver or a tenner on in uh, hopefully, because that was 15, so hopefully I can get to something close to a 12, because again, I want that 8 to 12 rep range. You're doing good, by the way. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Nice work, guys. Thank you. There is a slight problem. I don't think I am... Yeah, I'm not entirely even. Definitely was not even. That's going to definitely screw me up. That should be, hopefully, a little bit better. The hell... That was a bit weird. Slight bit forwards. Yeah. 
Okay. That was, I think, six or five, one of the two. Let's drop that off. That is, uh, yes, yeah, dangerous. Something potentially wrong with this smith, because I don't know if you saw, but I definitely did, but the smith machine is buckling. <clears throat> it is, uh, yeah, that is not entirely sturdy which is definitely, well, a hazard. So uh, I'm not sure if I want to continue doing Smith for March, but I'm going to reduce the weight and just focus on sets because if that's dangerous, I don't want that dropping fucking 100 kilos on my chest. That would be a very bad idea. So it uh, seems to me like it's not buckling now. It's just going straight up, whereas before it was kind of sliding around. I don't want that. <clears throat> Those partials were deadly. Okay, let's take a slight break and uh, figure out what the fuck we're doing. I am uh, very concerned about the Smith machine, but still, uh, I've taken quite a good break, so it should be fine. Again. I want to increase the weight, but if I increase the weight, it's going to just get me to the stage where I can't even do six. So I think I'm going to lightly increase it. Instead of going straight to tens, I'm going to increase to fives. Let's see what the hell that does. I'm hoping now should allow me to get to hopefully eight. But no, I'll take six if I can. Can't be picky when it comes to being in the gym. But you can be impatient. That's usually when mistakes happen. Hey, two more. Okay. Oh. That last one was shit, but it was necessary. Okay. So your tiny break, you know, drop one more and then hopefully, probably I'm going to go straight back to our usual front with, uh, well, pec flies. Then, don't exactly want to incorporate a straight bench on a Smith machine. I mean, you can, but, you know, case of injury is definitely going to be higher if you don't know how to, you know, squeeze your scapula and push up with your scapula as well as your chest. See, if you just push it normally, high chance of injury. So, I mean, if I was gonna do straight bench, which I might slightly, I would uh, definitely not fucking put the weight that I'm currently doing on. That is uh, definitely a dumb idea, at least for a starter. So, there's a possibility, I'm probably just gonna drop uh, 10, well, 15 on both sides. We just really focus on the squeeze on the bottom. But again, the main thing about Smith machine when it comes to straight bench, keeping your arms wide enough that you're not going to pop out your pec or your shoulder. Because trust me, you'll fucking understand. Yeah. I think one more of these. And let's, let's attempt straight bench. You know, it doesn't work. Well, it's got an alternative. That's the pack fly. But maybe it might be good. Who knows? Let's try this. The last one. 
I had a lot more power than I thought. All right, let's take all this weight off, drop it straight bench. Okay. So I'm going to show you two versions of this. Obviously the incorrect version first, and uh, a potential modification that will hopefully help you prevent a bloody injury on a Smith machine if you're doing straight bench. Again, at least learn the scapular squeeze. Scapular squeeze basically means pull your, your shoulder blades together. Very, very important. So, obviously most people would just do it like this, see? And the first thing here is your elbows flare out. There goes a rotator cuff shoulder injury or potential uh, chest injury. Now the reason why I haven't injured myself just then is because I haven't put weight on. Trust me, you'll understand. Once you put weight on and do that method, it'll only last for a while before you eventually get injured. So, implement that uh, scapular squeeze and now, you have put your shoulders out of danger and push your chest forward, basically allowing you to hopefully not get an injury, but still get the gains. So it should look something like this. <clears throat> Instead of this, that elbows out is definitely, you can tell just from the scapular squeeze, it kind of tilts your, uh, Tilts your shoulders forwards, allows you to hopefully not get an injury. Possibly. Um, so I'm going to drop our 15s and, well, hopefully I'll fuck myself. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. We've had a couple complaints about the tripod. We have? Yes, you don't need to keep too many people in. Do you want me to tell them? No. Turn it off. Sure. <clears throat> We can turn it off. Sweet. So, uh, that's, uh, that's great. Well, thank you, Planet Fitness, for being the final time that I'm ever going to go to you. So I'm going to revoke my membership and we're going to find a better gym. But we are not finished the workout. We are fucking Planet Fitness off and we are going straight to World Gym. So... Thank you, Planet Fitness, for uh, all that you've done. We're gonna get over to World Gym. And uh, then I'm gonna figure out if my membership still uh, is still got a plan with Planet Fitness. And uh, if it doesn't, that's it. Then I'm uh, evoking my membership. So let's drop to World Gym. So now we're at World Gym, the actual gym that allows me to fucking record. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself and screw myself in the ass, but um, I'm not really now motivated enough to want to do tri um, triceps. So, looks like to me that we are just doing chest. I'm a bit, uh, bit bummed, actually, right now. That, that, whatever the fuck happens at Planet Fitness, that's really just irritated me quite a lot so there might not be a lot of recordings today but we have learned something we cannot go to planet fitness because they're a bunch of dicks well, i mean the sad thing is i already knew this i heavily already knew this but i'm hoping that uh hoping nothing bad happens here but the one thing now that i definitely know is uh that Planet Fitness membership is getting removed and I'm going to replace it with possibly EMF, which uh, is a massive gym and there's a high possibility, I'm hoping, that they allow me to record there too. But the, pro the point is, like a lot of you are probably going to be like, oh, well, you shouldn't be recording to begin with. My recording is not for a malicious intent. My recording is simply for my journey, my growth, my cut and my bulk. It is not for any other reason in particular at all. No reason at all is my content for anything else. And uh, like, the, I know I probably shouldn't say this, but if people are gonna wear what they wear to a gym and then cry wolf when it comes to people like me who are innocent and trying to record their own growth and personal gain, I'm sorry, but that is low. 
So I'm just going to, uh, I haven't got much battery, so I'm probably only going to focus on a couple of muscle groups here. Again, I, uh, I kind of prefer World Gym anyway, so it's not really doing me. Like, we've learned quite a lot from here. And the one thing we have learned is uh, now I have a reason to get rid of Planet Fitness. So uh, let's get in there and let's drop it. All right. Uh, definitely feels good to be uh, somewhat home. <clears throat> what I mean by home, I mean uh, World Gym. None of this up. Uh, Planet Fitness bullshit. I know. I just feel personally this uh, feels a lot better. In my opinion. So, uh, I guess let's try to somewhat regain my pump. Shouldn't be that hard. That's all. Uh, that's bloody good. Let's uh, keep that shit up. The only uh, downside to World Gym is the music's so loud. It's literally it, I think. Yeah, you know, and I guess the other downside would be uh, at certain times of the day, it's like packed. And uh, right now, there's definitely one of them. So uh, that's actually also where I'm going to try to refrain recording. Because again, I let whatever the fuck down, die down, you know. Maybe it was fate, I don't know. But, I think, uh, whatever the fuck over here is, I think that bench right there, definitely, uh, definitely going to be used. Again, it's in the corner, it's secluded, no one can shit on me, and, uh, just focus on a, a slight bench PR. I think, on myself, by myself, I think 60 is uh, definitely a smart option because I don't need assistance. I can drop it and uh, I can probably do quite a lot actually. And 70 is probably the max I would go by myself, but 60 is pretty good. So let's drop this again, focus again on uh, upwards tension and uh, we should be pretty good. <coughs> <sighs> That's right, it's good to go that way. Oh. Okay, let's uh, slightly increase that weight. Oh my god, fuck, I nearly just lost that one. Oh my god. Let's take a let's take a break and uh evaluate the situation. Oh my god. Oh, that was a very, very hard struggle rep. This could possibly be very dangerous for me because I do not have anyone spotting me. Now, most of you might not realize that this might be a problem, but if I drop it wrong, I am definitely fucked. Let's just state that much. Now, I'm doing light on tens just for this current set, simply because I want to figure out the range of this by myself. Because uh, I don't want to drop a lot of weight and then uh, realize that I can't lift any of this by myself. So, should be pretty, 
pretty standard weight. Actually, it's like fucking fuck all. Okay. Definitely not going to do the type of weight that I do with Craig, but I think I can probably get away with 20s. Again, I don't want to, I don't want to out humble myself here, and I do not want to screw myself over. But I'm hoping I can do 20s. That would, uh, that'd get me to, well, currently I just stirred 30, so hopefully, well, this is going to be a shit ton of an increase. I'm basically increasing by 30 again. So, uh, Let's hope to God I don't fucking fail this. Okay. I could probably increase it by five, which should hopefully Get me to six or eight range. How many are you gonna do? Um, well, I'm aiming, so if I'm gonna do six and can do two more, that'd be perfect. Nice. But my aim is six right now. I don't you know if I could do any more, but. <laughs> oh my God. One. <clears throat> Three. <clears throat> four. Five, last one, bro. Six. Two more. Seven, last one. That was beautiful. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a great supporting. Oh, nice work, man. Thank you so much for that. Good you work, fucking bro. legend. <laughs> so I'm going to drop these off. Drop just straight 20s. And uh, again, do them for eight. Again, I do not want to neglect... This lower peck, as most people do neglect it. That's a, that is definitely a problem. I would not suggest for people to neglect the lower peck. And I'm gonna go for about six. Fuck. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay. That's beautiful. Now it's plain reason why I'm dropping more because, uh, well, we're at planet, we're at world gym and it's full and people are using cables and I'm recording. Simple fix. Don't record in places where there's a lot of people. So, and plus I got no problem. Doing a lot of lower peck, it's actually probably a lot more beneficial, if we're going to be honest. But, let's get rid of those, because I think they're just annoying me. But we should be good. As long as I've got my grip properly, we should be fine. Oh, thank you so much. Holy shit. Oh my god, my leg shaked. That was amazing. Oh my god. I feel like I just exploded my peck. Holy shit. That was friggin' amazing. Hey, I think I give a five minute break and increase the weight again. This should be, uh, in theory, last one because uh, there's a Benji over there and I want to draw a bench. Ugh! I think I'm gonna do fairly, fairly small amount because again, 
I want to get on that bench. Thank God for that lower one. Oh my God. That could have ended bad. Sweet. Thank God. Perfect. Perfect ending. That right there is called failure. <laughs> okay, let's go do straight bench. Seems like uh, oh, really? seems like I'm not done. <laughs> seems like you want me to fail or dead. So, so, so what we're going to do is five, 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 right? Oh, really? Right? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're going to do it five times. Shit. <laughs> okay, shit. Little did I know that this was going to be extremely difficult. And that I have just been taught the best way to do a fucking peck bench. So let's do a little game. I want you to put in the comments at the time zone when you think my peck completely gave up. You're really gonna fuck me up, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Not about how quick you can do it, it's about how controlled you can do it. That I agree. So I don't want to see it bouncing off the chest, I want you to see it bring it down, pause, press, down, pause. Press. Sweet. Full extension, full tightness through your chest, right? Okay. Alright, let's go then. We've got even grip. It's not even grip. So you see these lines on here? Oh, yeah. Measure it with your. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, Ready? Okay. So you're going to go. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Bring it that way a little bit. There you go. <laughs> And no, four. Oh, Go back down again. And five, no, five, four, oh, yeah. three, two, one. Okay, yeah, sorry. One down. Four to go. One. Normally, no, they go to one normal. They serve normal now. Okay, one. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Oh my god. Down. And five, four, three. Two, oh. one. There's two down. Three to go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Three down. One. Keep it there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh my God. Oh my fucking god! Oh shit! I had nothing! Oh my god! I'm sitting in a pool of sweat right now! I can't even get up! Oh my god! I can't even get up! Holy shit! I was wanting to do bench after this. I don't even think I can lift another bench. Oh. Yeah, I was going to do bench after this. Oh. I've got to fucking do that a lot more. See? Experience, brother. That's what it is. Oh my god. Holy fuck. My, my lower pecs are cooked. Holy shit. I'm like swimming in the pool of sweat. You man are a fucking legend. Let's uh, attempt to do bench. I 
I don't even know if I even can now. My arm, my chest is cool. <laughs> okay, let's attempt chest. I'm very sure my chest is actually far. I, I'm not even sure if I can even do 60 kilos. So I guess uh, next best thing would be uh, 15. That's definitely going in my repertoire. And I want to do more. Or at least when I want to gas myself out fully. That is uh, it's definitely the way to fucking do it. The way to end it. I'm actually pretty unsure if I can even do this. Honestly. I think this, this, uh, I think this might be actually me finished, but, you know, I've got to go out for bang. <sighs> <sighs> that, whatever the fuck he just made me do has definitely gassed me. So, oh yeah. Oh, that feels so heavy. Holy shit. That does not feel good. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Oh, fuck. He is, uh... He's definitely fried my lower pack, and I think that's definitely hindering my performance. I don't even remember how many I've got. I think I've got six. That shit. There isn't actually much that I can do now that I'm actually fucking completely cooked. But uh, I think, honestly, I think this might be the last one, if I've got to be completely honest. Oh. Again, usually... Usually I drop probably 70 on this, but man, he is fucked, man. Sweet. Oh my God. That left arm went out. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's me. I think I'm going to go see the reveal and, uh, well, you know what we're doing. Finishing off with some egg whites. Let's get out of here. Ah, yes. The sad reality known as our world gym half the time, <laughs> you can't even get in to the pump reveal. So I guess we're doing it in the locker room as always. But, you know, chest is uh, definitely booming. It was a nice, uh, nice workout today. Again, I wish I could do this in the uh, pump reveal area, but we can't, <laughs> which is kind of sad. But you got to do what you got to do, I guess. But on an overall standpoint, that guy definitely cooked the shit out of me, at least in lower pecs, which is uh, perfect. But, uh, pecs are looking pretty mighty fucking fine. It's a very, uh, very gorgeous, uh, workout we did today. And the, uh, singlet's not too bad. It's, uh, a bit sweaty, but probably because of the thinner layer. But, honestly, it's bloody beautiful. Pecs are looking good. Upper pec, again, was pretty predominant today. It's just sad that we got kicked out of Planet Fitness, but... You know, it is what it is. Low pack definitely is going to be worked on a lot more as usual. But now that I've learned a different technique, definitely going to utilize what we've just learned and uh, hopefully incorporate a lot more. So uh, I think Craig's going to definitely, definitely enjoy that one. So oh, let's get out of here. Let's go drink some egg whites and. Get those aminos in there and, uh, well, see you in uh, whatever fucking day it is next. Sweet. Peace off, folks.